hide me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I am becoming a DIY channel. It's not true. You guys know me as a plus size fashion girl, a makeup girl, a lifestyle girl. But I don't really do DIY projects, but I actually really love arts and crafts. I love doing stuff like this. I just don't do it as often as I want to. So, the other day, this idea of course sparked from Pinterest, y'all already know. Pinterest where we're at. So I saw this pumpkin and it's just gorgeous. It has a stunning flower arrangement in it. I've never seen a flower arrangement in a pumpkin. I thought this would be perfect for just having around the house, maybe even a Thanksgiving centerpiece or just cute little things to put around your house for this cozy fall time of year. Um, if you want to know where my shirt is, I know someone's going to ask. I will link it down below. So anyway, I just I felt really inspired when I saw this and I wanted to put my own twist on it. So I went ahead and picked up a big pumpkin. I also have a couple of small pumpkins. I didn't really see any small ones, but I thought it could be cute to do some mini versions as well. So I went to Trader Joe's, picked up so many flowers, so many. Anyway, I picked up a lot of flowers, as you can see. If you need some good fall flowers, Trader Joe's is where it's at. And they were actually really good prices as well. So anyway, I thought we could do this DIY together. So I want to show you guys the flowers I picked up. I picked up these kind of really dark orange. They, look, they might look red on camera, but they're very much like a burnt orange. They're very dark, dark orange. Perfect for fall. Then I picked up some of these little orange flowers here. Pardon me, I don't know the names of a lot of flowers. I'm not that educated. I actually picked up two packets of um, hydrangeas because I did notice these were kind of like the staple. So we're going to be using these in each one. Um, they're kind of like bigger, so they take up a little bit more space and we can use them as the base when we start. I just picked up these. I want to I think I know the name of this. I'm not even going to say it because I might be wrong and you're going to make fun of me. So I picked up just these cute little, very, very small white flowers. They're just like very different and I thought it would add a nice little change of size in there. I picked up some yellow carnations and then I picked up some orange roses as well. So beautiful. And then I don't know what these are called. Oh, eucalyptus. This is what Lily told me about. I picked up some eucalyptus as well. It actually smells amazing. I think it will look really beautiful in there as well. It's going to look very earthy and just gorgeous. So the first thing we're going to do before we unassemble all the flowers is we're going to get our pumpkins ready. So as you could see in that picture, it's basically just doing as you would do carving a pumpkin, taking the top off and we're going to get rid of it. So we want to take the top off and clean out the inside. I hate to get rid of the top of this pumpkin. It's a perfect pumpkin. Trader Joe's had cheap pumpkins too. I'm like, I need to go there more. took all of my flowers out of their packaging and they're all just sitting in my sink so it's easy access but as I said I did no research on this but I know flowers need water that's a thing so I think I'm actually gonna put plastic bags in the pumpkins like a little ziplocs in here and a big plastic bag in here um, I don't know if the water would be fine just in a pumpkin but better safe than sorry and then we can start assembling will come around the edge don't worry if a little bit of your plastic bag shows I'm just gonna like cut the handles off because they're a little extreme so we have our two little baby pumpkins and our big pumpkin so essentially <laughs> we're just gonna chat and fill this up with beautiful flowers because I don't really have a plan I'm gonna like reference back to the picture but I don't want it to look exactly the same I want it to just kind of be my own thing here but I don't know it looks to me like in this picture there's just a good amount of everything and like a little a few clusters here and there they're not exactly all separated I like the clusters and then maybe some individual but I'm gonna put plant food in these as well because I got a ton of plant food from all the bouquets just to make sure they live a while 
You probably could have done this also with fake flowers. <laughs> like that'd probably be easier, but I don't know. There's something about fresh flowers in the house. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with some hydrangeas. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut them quite a bit because they are pretty long. And I just kind of measure them to the length of the pumpkin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start it off. I do want them to be pretty low down so they kind of just, in that picture, I liked how they kind of wrapped around the top of the pumpkin. It's not like sitting out like a vase. It's a little bit more sitting around and I liked that look. And of course, be careful with your roses, honey, because your girl hurt herself. Four of the orange. This is kind of chatty, so hopefully you don't mind. Oh my God, I'm already obsessed with this. <laughs> This is like the coolest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Is that sad? The great thing about the hydrangeas is they're so big, they take up like a good portion of the space. I am I think I cut this the appropriate amount. I could have probably cut it a little bit bigger if you want to fit more flowers in, um, but you know, we're just kind of playing around. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of these now, these little orange guys. I'm kind of eyeballing how long they all need to be. You can kind of just get a feel for it. And I'm just gonna kind of make sure they're going in the plastic bag. And make sure I'm kind of just putting colors where they should be. Oh no, what just fell off? Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Arts and Crafts with Alex. Thumbs up if there should be a new segment. All right, let me go ahead and take some of these pretty little, little, these are so dainty, they're just so pretty. Fun fact about me, I always have flowers in the house. Um, it just brings, just bring some life, you know? Like the fresh, fresh flowers are just, I don't know, they're so magical. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great October. Let me know down in the comments what you're gonna be for Halloween if I don't know yet, I've probably already asked. Um, and a lot of you guys are telling me what you're gonna be. Oh my gosh, someone said they're gonna be, them and their boyfriend are gonna be Jim and Pam from the office. I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's goals right there. That's so cute. All right, so let's, I think we need a splash of this dark orangey rose. Ooh, ouch. Be careful, kids, be careful. I would like genuinely hurt myself. That's the only thing about roses that are quite a struggle. So I have a hydrangea on this side, but I think I wanna put one over here as well. We have so many, so we can kind of play those up. Anyway, if you haven't watched me Recently, I'll tell you, for Halloween, I'm being curvy Barbie. It's gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna do a get ready with me um, on Halloween. So, I'll try to film it like earlier in the day and post it like actually on Halloween. And yes, I say Halloween instead of Halloween. It's like a thing. I don't know, I think I got it from my dad, I don't know. I'm gonna take a bunch of the eucalyptus here, which is like so pretty. I think it just adds a nice kind of woodsy touch. I should, probably should have made this a little bit bigger, but you know what, trial and error. And this will just make your house smell absolutely incredible. Oh, cute. So oh, since the pumpkin is tilted, it looks like it's going this way. So I'm gonna try my very best to cut more. We have a lot of flowers as well. I didn't think I really would I thought I maybe even didn't get enough. So the way, since the pumpkin is tilted, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a bigger hole at the top on this side to balance it out. And be careful when you guys are cutting your pumpkins. Don't do it without supervision. There we go. Okay, so that actually like really helped to balance it out. So kind of just feel it out. Um, I'm just gonna make sure my plastic bag is still Going strong, it actually is, okay. So now we have a lot more room to work with as well. So I'm gonna try to balance it a little bit and take a few more of these little burnt orangey roses on the other side. And also, actually I wanna take a couple of these as well. Really like these. I'm trying to like plan them out for the baby pumpkins too. I can always go back and add more if we have a leftover. Oh, have I used, oh, I've used a couple. I'm gonna take a few more carnations. I just love this idea. I think this would be absolutely gorgeous for Thanksgiving too as a centerpiece. There's just like so many cute things that this could be used for. Even just having it on the table would be so lovely. Pop a couple of these in here. 
I'm just kind of making sure everything is still, you know, rising to the occasion. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous so far. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, okay. I think we have eucalyptus on this side. I want to just put like maybe one little, one little guy on the other side. That is cute. I think we're going to come to an end soon with the big pumpkin because she's getting pretty full. And I feel like she's pretty balanced as well. I'm feeling very proud of myself right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and let this guy be done. So here's what it looks like. Super, super pretty. Oh my gosh, such a cute idea. I actually just want to toss in like one more of these because I just can't stop. All right, she'll be hanging out in the background while we finish the little babies. So I think these are going to be pretty hard to work with because they are so small. Um, but you know what, we'll do the best we can. I can always kind of cut a bigger hole too. Maybe I'll just expand the hole now. So I made it quite a bit bigger, um, <laughs> maybe a bit too big. But also I feel like the flowers do come so low, you can get away with going a little bit more of a hole on these little ones. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the hydrangeas again, just because they are the biggest and we do want to include at least one. <laughs> it's going to take up the whole pumpkin. <laughs> I'm basically just going to do like the same thing in the little one here. And these little guys. Oh my god. Ah, these are huge. I kind of love it though. It's like overpowering. Now I'm like already thinking what DIY can we do for Christmas? I'm gonna be a DIY channel now. <laughs> just kidding, I just poked myself again. <laughs> Your best bet with the flowers is to kind of put them in one at a time. I do think removing some of the leaves is helpful too, just to create a little bit more space. Thankfully, these guys are really, really thin, so they'll fit in super easily. And I have four left of these orange ones, so that's perfect. We'll do two and two. And of course we have to add some eucalyptus. So here's what it looks like so far. I'm just gonna take a few minutes and go ahead and finish the second one and kind of put the final touches on this. And I'll be right back. Yay, they're so cute. I'm the proud mom. I think this was pretty good for my first DIY video. Um, it went pretty well actually, that was so much fun. I almost feel like it was like therapeutic, kind of working with arts and crafts and that kind of stuff kind of calms you down. So we have the two little baby ones here. They're super cute. Even if you wanted to make a small one, this probably costs, oh, better tuck in that little plastic bag. Um, honestly, this probably costs like two bucks for the pumpkin max. Um, the only thing is like buying a bunch of different flowers to use. Unless you could buy a fall bouquet that was already prepared, those are like six or seven bucks. You could make this for under $10. So, you know, <laughs> they sell a lot of like pre-made fall bouquets that you could just cut down and put in a pumpkin. And then I love our big mama here. Oh, I love this one too. This actually looks, I almost like this one better. I don't know. Really cute though. I'm going to bring one to my mom tomorrow. But I love our big mama. She's such, oh my God, she's so heavy. Oh my gosh, I love her. She just is full of fall glamour. Oh, she's just a beauty queen. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different, something just to switch it up, um, get our arts and crafts flowing. If you guys recreate something like this, tweet it to me. I'll put my Twitter name on the screen. Same as my Snapchat if you want to follow me there because I did post behind the scenes of this, which you won't see, but you'll see behind the scenes next time if you follow me. <laughs> if you like this video, if you like these, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what other DIY things we could do. Maybe some Thanksgiving things coming up. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.